And then I can take a, take the string sound that I have and I can arm that. I can play along with some strings. You have total control over that in these cast. So if I think the piano is too loud, I can make it quieter. If I want the strings louder, I can make it louder. I can can it in stereo. So I can put the piano. I mean, we might not have stereo sound in here, we'll find out. No, I guess not. But I can if I had headphones or stereo speakers, I could put the piano. Uh, on one speaker and I put the strings on another and I can just go on adding and adding to my composition. If I hit it on notes <coughs> with the virtual instrument technology, I can actually go in and I can see every note that I play. If I hit it on note, I can take it and I can move it around, I can put it in the right place, I can delete it, uh, I can stretch it out if it wasn't long enough. And what's even more amazing, if I like the part, <laughs> oh thank you, bigger applause till the end. Uh, I know you're all dying to applaud, but so let's say uh, I, I like the piano, but um, you know I'd rather do something else. Maybe I want uh, Oh, maybe I want to hear a bunch of saxophones instead. I can switch my instrument. And now the same notes that I played, I'm playing back through a horrible series of saxophones, which really doesn't sound very good. But, um, but again, I've got hundreds of different instruments I can play with. And I can, I can use an instrument called an electric piano, which is a 70s style piano. It's like a nice warm tone. I can go in and I can add effects. Every good studio has all kinds of different effects. Echo effects and reverb effects. A reverb uh, effect adds the, the sound of a, a room like this. Um, if, you're, if you've ever sung in the shower, you know it sounds better. Hey, come on, you've all sung in the shower. Who hasn't sung in the shower? <laughs> Right. So, yeah, you, you have the sound bouncing off the walls in that little room and it creates this neat effect. Well, you can recreate all of those kinds of effects in Mixcraft. And just to show you, I'll add, um, uh, I'll add a delay effect. We'll listen to that piano part I played. And I can go in and I can add a delay effect. You know what I hit gets repeated again and again. And you'll hear it at the end, kind of repeating a few times. Um, you can do that to, to beef up the sound, make it sound thicker, make it sound more interesting. So that's um, that's virtual instruments, which is one neat aspect. And by the way, if I had uh, a guitar, let's say, I could take a microphone and I could put it in front of the guitar, and I could play the guitar along with these tracks. And I could also sing. So if I wanted to sing along with this song, I'm not going to. <laughs> but if I wanted to, I could arm a microphone track to record. And you can see as I talk into the microphone, see that green line? That's showing me my input volume. It's showing me that I've got a signal coming into the computer. I can hit record. And now, as the music is playing, it's also recording me talking to you. And you can see the waveform of what I just said. And now, as the music is playing, it's also recording me talking to you. I can look at that waveform, I can zoom in, and now, as the music, I'm going to show you some other neat things you can do. Gentleman was asking me about taking sounds and making them play back slower and making them play back faster. What happens, let's say you have a record. 
and you like the song, but it's, uh, it's too slow, so you want it to be faster. So you speed up the record player so it turns faster. What happens to the music? Right, the pitch goes up, that's right. It, starts, it becomes like the chipmunk stage. All the singing gets really high pitched. So, or, and now, what's neat about computers today is you can actually, uh, it's, a, a, it's actually something we call flex audio. You can take any audio and treat it like a rubber band, where you can stretch it out or, or make it smaller without affecting the pitch. So, we'll take what I just did, and in Mixcraft, all you do is you hold down the control key, and go to the end of the clip, and you see those two little hands that showed up? If I then click on my mouse and I drag that out like I'm stretching a rubber band, watch what happens. And now, as the music is playing, it's also recording. There we go. But I haven't changed the pitch. I can go the other way, record, and now as the music is playing, it's also recording the talking to. So I can take, now I'll tell you what's neat about that. <laughs> that actually has some very practical uses. Uh, let's say I, I'm making, oh, let's say I'm making a radio commercial. 